Hello guys, this is Abdul Fu with the Teaching and Learning. Today, lesson 4, Pedagogy Questions Answer. Thank you so much for your subscription and providing me the feedback about. As I mentioned, that your subscription and your feedback is my motivation. So, keep subscribing the Teaching and Learning that I can provide you the suitable information, questions and answer about the pedagogy test. I'm sure this content will be very helpful to get the highest score in your test. I'm trying my best to give you the closest information that you can attempt your exam easily. So in this lesson, I'm going to share the uh, answering questions of the two uh, different uh, concepts. One is the reasoning method and other one is the thinking skills. So let's see what are these and uh, how to attempt these questions. First, our reasoning methods. There are the three reasoning methods. One is the deductive, inductive, and objective. So I will give you the overview and I'll be sharing a link in the description so you can watch these uh, videos which I have, I have already uploaded. First, deductive reason. Deductive reason is the general concept to the specification. So it works in the uh, practical life, it work into the lab, it work into the experiments that we have to prove. So if we're going to prove something that we have to go through the process, through examination, through the observations. So these three methods are going to help us to prove something but in a different way. So first deductive reasoning is a, a process which uh, generates a general concept to the uh, specific conclusion so from a generalizations to the logical conclusion how it works it works into the three steps or four steps sometimes they say theory and uh, second a hypothesis but I believe that the theory is a hypothesis then it goes to the examinations and observation after observation it gives the logical conclusion for example initially there was a theory that sun is moving around the earth okay that was an initial and it went through the observations for a long time period different scholars philosophers geologists they worked on it and they give the different perspective so that observation led to the conclusion and the conclusion is that sun is not moving around the earth earth is moving around the sun now how and why these questions arise? It is because of the changes in the day-night, equinoxes, and uh, tiltation of the earth, which rose several questions in uh, philosophers' mind, and they proved through the deductive process of. Them. So, in this question, you can see that a reasoning method start out with a general concept or generalization or general statement or hypothesis and examine the possibility to reach a specific logical conclusion. So what answer you have to choose? That is a deductive reasoning which starts from the general concept and gives the specific conclusion. This is a process for that. Second thing, a reasoning method starts out with a specific observations to generalization. Sorry, I'll add here uh, one more thing. Mathematicians, they mostly in equation and solving the problems, they use the deductive reason. A plus B is equal to A square plus B square, whatever. X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 4, then 2X plus Y is equal to 9. So these are the examples and they have to go through the process to give the logical conclusion. So the answer or the logical proof at the end of the process or end of the solution of the problem, it is a specific conclusion and it went through the general concept which was the formula so uh, the, all the mathematicians they use the deductive reasoning to prove the general concept into the logical conclusion <coughs> another one a reasoning method start out with a specific or uh, observations to generalization that is an inductive reason from a specific observation to general concept has three steps again specific means from conclusion 
this conclusion observed again examined and gives the generalization or gives the theories then they write the theory for example historian geographer geologist they all collect the evidences primary sources okay skeletons uh, excavations and uh, fossils and all these things it already proved once you found okay but then it goes the reverse process they examine all these primary evidences and give the possible theory about that i will not say the possible and it they changed into the theory so they found the evidence they found the logical conclusion that what happened thousand years ago or ten thousand years ago but that thousand that evident uh, evidence go to the observation through uh, the uh, the process of observation examination and come up with the general theories this is the uh, induction process the third one uh, i didn't mention any question about that but i am giving giving you the example for that uh, the one is abductive it's an incomplete process it has a no it can give you the possible explanation but it don't have you know the logical uh, answer or it has you know for example doctor ever you visited the doctor doctor after the diagnose many things okay it will not stick on a certain point this is the main but they will give you the possible explanation the most closest that what is happening in your body what has been diagnosed it has been diagnosed they will not give you the reasons the reasons will not be specific it will be closest they will be using it can be might of this it can be might of this so this process mostly doctors they use you know at the incomplete uh, process uh, and complete observation and they will give you the uh, possible explanation a set of explanations okay in order to satisfy you that's called the abductive reason now we'll move to the uh, another part of this answering question the modes of thinking actually they're the one more of thinking lateral thinking which has been uh, divided in two more parts uh, using logic and using imagination so logic is a fact which is the possible answer or very closest answer that's it and the imagination give you the multiple answer with the multiple uh, creative solutions so this is so think out of the box both you know so the divergent thinking and the convergent thinking let's see the divergent thinking first in this question you can see here which one of the following thinking skills enable students to think creatively which one creatively and provide the possible solutions sorry i have to write the solutions to the problems now this one is the divergent thinking okay gives the possible solution and multiple solution when i give this one ideas okay if you put the question that question in uh, divergent thinking they will give you the multiple answers multiple for example using of the bottle okay so if you ask okay if you assign a project in your classroom so if there are the 30 students in your classroom you will be getting the 30 possible designs from your students so this is the creative imaginations and ideas and that sticks or come up with the uh, through divergent thinking skills if you have assigned any assignment okay you will be getting the multiple possible solutions from the students okay in a different format if you ask the students to prepare the powerpoint they will be giving you the multiple designs of the powerpoint with the possible solution and the information if you ask the students to design a robotic they will give you the different types of the robot for the different fields and for use and for what these will be used okay so these are the divergent thinking which is enforcing students to give you the possible solution for the uh, one question and one more thing you know, uh, the deduct of oh, sorry the divergent thinking skills starts with a process like questions with the how why it give you the process that uh, how it starts it um, linked with the cognitive abilities both are definitely but it, it uh, encourage it enforce it uh, uh, 
what reinforce the students to think critically and give you the solutions to the possible uh, problem to give you the solution for the uh, problems now another thing <coughs> for the convergent thinking skills you can see here which one of the following thinking skill enable students to give the correct answer without thinking creative now for example as i have asked the question okay there are the multiple question answers first we have to highlight this 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 if it is written already the students don't have to think about that they have to choose so mostly the convergent is thinking skills is used in the multiple choice questions and the question will starts with what and when uh, which has a specific only one answer they have to choose so it's logically proved okay it's a 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 it's logically proved but they have to choose so they don't have to multiple answers or they have to stick with the one which is the best on the fact i'll give you the here uh, example you can see here choose the best answer which are one of the one of the following best describe the earth's rotation that earth move around the sun this is a logically proved is there multiple ideas here no what have to do they have to stick it with the one question to provide the possible answer so this mostly used in the MCVs uh, questions and uh, the closed questions. However, the divergent thinking skills is uh, mostly based on the uh, process and the what else we open ended questions. So in con convergent, we don't have to uh, think more we have to just give to the possible and the fake fact about that so guys these were the some questions related with the reasoning uh, methods and uh, uh, more of the thinkings i'm sure you liked it okay if you have any question you can write it in the comment box as i have mentioned again and again don't forget to uh, provide your uh, feedback if you have a suggestion, if you have a advice, if you have uh, any recommendation, if you have any demand for any particular topic, please write in the feedback. Okay, I'll be I'll be trying my best. Okay, the most important thing above all, don't forget to subscribe to Teaching and Learning. Your subscription is my motivation. We'll be meeting in the next lesson with the next topic, with new theme, with new question and answering. Thank you so much. Stay safe and stay.